So far in Stable Diffusion, I've only been generating images using 512 by 512. And the reason I do this and not use random resolutions like this one is because if I do this, I would get random results in my images. Weird stuff will start happening. So for example, if I generate the image using this resolution, you can see it generated the image, but it's also generated two motorbikes when I only asked for one. And this is something that usually happens when you use non-standard resolutions. And sometimes you can even get extra body parts and limbs within your actual image. So we know from a previous video that the way to get higher resolution images is to use the upscaler in the extras tab. However, you may be wondering if there's a different way to get higher resolution images. And there is, and it's called high res fix. So to use high res fix, click on it. And then straight away, you should be able to see familiar options that you would have seen if you're using upscaler. So over here, I can select the upscaler to use. I can also select how big I would like the image to be. And now where high res fix starts to deviate from upscalers is this denoising strength parameter here. And so what denoising strength does, it gives stable diffusion the ability to add extra detail within the image. And how this is different from upscaling is that Take this image for example, this helmet right here, if I upscaled it, nothing about the actual helmet would change. However, if I use denoising strength and set it to a high value, there's a possibility that this helmet would actually change. And so just to demonstrate this point, I'm going to generate the original image. And then using high res fix, I'm going to set it to a value of 0.5. And what this means, 0 0.5, is think of zero as you're telling Stable Diffusion to not change the image whatsoever, only upscale it. And think of one as telling Stable Diffusion that it's allowed to change the image as much as possible. So by setting it to 0 0.5 and then generating. Now this was the image that was generated. And if you compare this to the original image, you'll notice two things. One, the original image looks a lot more blurrier. And that's because it just has a lower resolution. And second of all, if you look really closely, you should be able to notice minor differences within the actual images themselves. So for example, pay attention to the original helmet and now compare this helmet to the new helmet that was generated. You should be able to see a slight difference between the two. And if you look at other parts of the image, so for example, the handlebar in the original image, and now look at it in the new image, you can see that it's changed somewhat. And that's the power of denoising strength. A typical upscaler would just upscale the image and not change anything about it. Whereas with denoising strength, you can modify the actual image when you're upscaling and get a new image as a result. And so typically you would use lower values when you want the upscaled image to look very close to the original image. And you'd use higher values when you'd want to actually see changes within the actual image. Now onto the next parameter, we have higher steps. Now, to be honest, it is very difficult to see how high res steps contribute to the final image. I personally tried to generate many different images using different high res steps, and I was very hard pressed to find any difference between those images. So I recommend that if you are using high res fix and want to get better images, I recommend that you just focus on changing the upscalers or messing around with the denoising strength to actually change the generated image. Higher step does probably have a place within generating images, but from my personal testing and what it seems like online, it doesn't really contribute much to the final image and it's very hard to say what it does. And one final point I'd like to mention is when do you use high res fix and when do you use the standard upscaler? And the honest answer is there is no, no hard and fast rule. Typically it just depends on what the person is really after. If the person really likes the base image that they're generating, then using an upscaler makes more sense as the image is not actually changed. And if a person has generated an image that they don't mind being changed slightly when upscaled, they can use high res fix and get the desired image they want. 